Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to select vector elements by number in R. So first of all, let me create a simple vector. And the vector I'm creating here on line 4 in my code uh, is based on the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. And this is a sequence where each number is the sum of the two previous numbers. So I'm sure you can check that there. Let me run this to create the vector. And uh, I'm going to display the output in the console. And I can see in the console that my vector has been created successfully. So what if I want to now find out, well, what is the first element or the eighth element or the tenth element or so on in a vector? So the way we do that is we use the vector name and we and add in square brackets. So SEQ and square brackets. And if I wanted to, to figure out, well, what is the first element in this vector? I type in the number one in square brackets and run this line of code. And in my console, I can see that the value of the first element has, is, is a value of zero. So let me go back up to the uh, um, sequence here, and I can see, yes, indeed, the first value is a value of zero. If I want to determine, uh, well, what is the eighth value or the eighth element in my sequence or in my vector, I put in eight in between the square brackets. So let's run this. And we can see that the eighth element in my vector has a value of 21. So let's go up to the vector and check this. So the zero is the first, one is the second, one is the third, two is the fourth, three is the fifth, five is the sixth, eighth is the seventh, and 21 is the eighth value in my vector. So that's it. So a neat way of finding out particular values in a vector. I can also use the square brackets to determine the values as a subsequence of the vector. So let me try and do this, FIB, SEQ square brackets again, and let's say I want to display, well, what are the fifth to the eighth elements in my vector? So five colon eight, so that's a seed the sequence from five to eight. Let's run that piece of code. And that tells us in our console that the uh, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth elements in my vector have values of three, five, eight, and 21 respectively. And you can see that uh, in the uh, line of code, there's the values highlighted now. We can also use um, to, uh, in, in a vector like this to check the elements that are greater than or less than a particular value, which is often very useful. So let's say in this instance here, I want to determine, um, well, what are the values that are less than uh, 20? So let's do fibsec um, and less than 20. So I want to know if each of these uh, elements of my vector are true or false, are they less than 20? So let's run this. And we can see that um, uh, the first few values uh, return return true. So we have uh, seven values of true. So go up to our vector and we can see that the first seven values are all less than 20. The eighth and the ninth values are not less than 20. So that's why we're getting false, two falses at the end of the output. If I want to say, for example, check to see if values are greater than a particular number. So let's try uh, value display all numbers uh, greater than five. So let's run this. And we can see that the first few numbers in our in our um, um, vector are not greater than five, and we've got three that are greater than five. So we have uh, five falses and three true values here. So I would urge you to create vectors of uh, various sequences or read data in and uh, see if you can refer to individual values on those vectors. Finally, what happens uh, when you have a vector? I have a vector here with nine elements in it. So what happens if I try to refer to an element that does not exist? So let me try that. So fib, seq, uh, square brackets, and I'm going to try and refer to the element number 25. So what is the, the 25th element in my vector? I shouldn't be able to find this because I've only got nine elements, but let's run it and see what happens. And um, R returns a value of NA. So it's neither true nor false. And so it, it, uh, R is not able to figure out whether the value that's in element 25, what that value is. So it cannot return a true, it cannot return a false. So it returns NA, not applicable. In other words, it's a null value. So that's how you select vector elements by number in, in, in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.